the uncertainty that's 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 the exact reason reason why you want to be want to get engaged because that creates a lot of opportunities and you know talking about um supply chains uh trade wars uh, uh that trump started in 2017 um created um a lot of uncertainty around us china and and the sort of west east uh, western asia relationship and on um, coronavirus crisis just injected a lot of uncertainty and a lot more, sorry, more uncertainty and a lot of urgency in, into reshaping uh, global supply chains. So we, uh, we think we're going to start moving away from uh, China-centric um, supply chain or the global trade into more uh, fragmented or local, uh, smaller supply chains and smaller networks. And that creates opportunity. Um, you know, obviously, it won't happen all, overnight. It took China around 25, almost three decades, 25 years, almost three decades to build this system or and the West to support this system and that includes banking and 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 obviously transport and logistics and now this this slowly this the the, the, the system is, is is going to be taken apart and I think that creates a lot of opportunities and obviously it's no longer just about politics now it's about um, uh, uh, security reasons or national security reasons for many countries especially in the West. Arto, can we just delve into some of the dynamics then? Because margins have been rising for 25 years because of the streamlining of logistics. If we're going to see a reorganization of the supply chain, do companies do it themselves? Do they find new partners? And what does that mean overall for corporate margins? Yeah, it's a very good question. I don't think they want to do it themselves. I think this is something that the, 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 the governments will, will, will take on. And, and they will essentially, I think that's my opinion, they will ask corporates to choose sides. And um, and and uh, and this is, I think, this is the part of wealth redistribution phase. I think that's something that um, uh, Kirill Sokolov, a quite famous strategist, uh, called as a as a as a phase of a wave of uh, uh, um, uh, money moving away from, uh, uh, from from owners to, of capital to to, um, to to labor. And and I think this is the phase that's starting now. So the corporates. Will have to accept lower margin if they want to operate in a, in, a, in a stable environment, and we we just might be seeing that. And, and you know, if if we look at what's happening with um, banking system in Hong Kong, and how governments are asking um, uh, certain corporates to choose sides, this is this is just the beginning. I, I don't I don't think we'll see huge correction in margins, but I, I, I think a lot of corporates will will have to choose. Uh, will choose lower margins going forward for, 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 for being able to operate in a stable system 